Hello everyone, it's me, it's never mind. It's me and my hat. Um Can't explain this to you enough, okay? All the evidence I have found on this channel. <laughs> and it's cool because I see that people are really starting to figure out the truth of who I truly am. Truly is amazing. You know what I mean? Even God understands. Which, in this case, I would tell you so many things. So this is what I said. Aside from sore eyes, we know what David looks like. So, I found this article, and you may not understand what it means, what all of this means. And you're about to figure this out, because I'm about to tell you. Baba holds many hidden wonders. In addition to its explicit teachings, by careful reasoning, we can draw out many implications of what it says. <clears throat> by comparing various parts with others, aided by various ambulatical apologists and theologians, I've made a few discoveries which I have privileged and humbled to share in the world. Step one, prove that Jesus is God. When the prophet says, prepare the way of the Lord, the Lord, there is God. One applies this to Jesus. The Lord, when he quotes Isaiah, is Jesus. Therefore, Jesus is God. Step two, prove that David is, prove that Jesus is David. When the psalmist says, the Lord said to my Lord, sit in my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. The, word, the words, my Lord, refers to David. When Luke and Peter quote this psalm, my Lord, refers to Jesus. Therefore, Jesus is David. Set three, tied all together, Jesus is God, Jesus is David. Therefore, David is God, lest you have any doubts about the valid, valid validity of the third argument. Be assured that three follows from one, two things. That are identical to the same thing here. Jesus must also be identical to one another here. God and, God and David. We must. We have just proved the deity of David. Or if you like the divinity of God. Friends. The implications of this, of this are astounding. Not only is, is Jesus God. But we also know that he's not the only incarnation of God. And that reincarnation occurs at least sometimes. Now I know what you're thinking, David, saying that you can't be God. Friend, we must avoid rationalism, that lamentable habit of refusing to believe things that we, we one can't understand. No, I don't understand how God, a holy and perfect being, could commit sins of adultery and murder, but I choose to believe what the Bible says as I've outlined above. I will not call God the ultimate author of the Bible a liar. I choose humility over rationalistic pride. Perhaps you'll reject this as a new innovation or as something absent from the Christian tradition. Well, step three is just simple logic. And step two, which you're objecting to, uses the same sort of reasoning as step one. You think step one is mainstream, right? Sometimes implications take a while to be noticed. Sometimes many centuries. I could say I couldn't say why this complication steps two and three weren't noticed before. I suppose it could be just be due to the extraordinary intellectual humility that I have been blessed with these with making these awesome discoveries. It is all by God's grace, of course. Oh yes, yes indeed, yep, yep, that's true. Yep. Did you know that? Oh, you didn't know any of that because you're so dumb. You know what I mean? <laughs> this is the question. Got these to laugh in your face. <laughs> you know what I mean?